there was a lot going on in our film in terms of action, really from start to finish. And you wanted it to be as believable and as and as gonna scary and maximize its impact, including this one fight that, that I had to do. <laughs> People shouldn't notice it for this, but that fight, which I think works really well, that's one take, about a two minute long take. You know, we put together a little fight and shot it, and you know, it was about a two minute fight. And that turned into one take. Let's do the whole fight in one take with our lead actor, smashing into walls, flipping over desks, you know, a, a real gritty, like he's not a trained fighter in the film, so he's just a normal guy trying to survive. This is rare, but to do a fight with one camera and just shoot the whole fight, because normally you break a fight down into five bits, six bits, seven bits, and you just do it each piece again and again and again and cover it in different ways. But we just practiced it and practiced it and practiced it because every hit, every move had to be right for the one camera. And if you made one mistake, you had to start from scratch. We didn't use a stunt person. It was Jerry doing everything. Now, physically, to do a two minutes done scene. If you're not a, being serious training, that's tough, just physically going. It's tough for him and it's tough for Eric, the camera operator. But myself and Jean-Francois felt that oh, that scene would be amazing if we could do it as a one take thing. Gerard just stepped up. I mean, I don't know what other actors we could do that with, but Gerard was all in. Really, do you, do you make them that long and that they work? Um, but again, that was where Jim had to be very involved to make sure that, that nobody, including the crew, were, were getting hurt because there was a lot of stuff flying around. Our flight has gone down. This is an emergency. Survive together or die alone. We're getting off this island. Captain Torrance, flight commander. How can I help you? Fugitive extradition. Oh, is he dangerous? What did he do? Homicide 15 years ago. I don't want to scare the rest of the passengers. I'm afraid you're stuck with us, Captain. Get him on board, let's have a good flight. We're cutting right through the top of the storm. Listen, keep everybody in their seats, no exceptions, all right? I need everyone to have the seatbelts purely fastened. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Blazer 119, we are dark. Is anyone near guard down it? We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit. They were done somewhere in the Jolo Island cluster. It's run by separatists and militias. The Filipino army won't even go there anymore. The clock is ticking. Every minute matters. We can count those minutes in lives, lost or saved. Wait, wait, get back, get back. We don't know who it is. We don't know who it is. Get back. Listen carefully. This is an emergency. I'm Captain Brody Torrance. I like this guy. Name, country. Maxwell Carvel, England. Name, country. I gotta go after them. My passengers, my responsibility. I'm gonna need your help. You're gonna need this. A form of military or something? You could say that. Then why'd they lock you up? No one cares what really happened. But they say redemption can be found in the most unusual places. If you do this, you'll probably never see your family again. What about their families? I have a daughter. And I have every intention of making a home. Ah! They are going to come at us with everything they've got. We're getting off this island. <laughs> <laughs>